What's going on you guys? It's your girl, I'm Kubana X, and I'm here at Lip Palace with artist Lee Lee. Oh my gosh. So today we are making history out here in Orlando. We are doing the first collaboration between La Palace Nightclub, Gentlemen's Nightclub, and artists. We're having a visual arts day party today. It's gonna be tacos, it's gonna be half off bottles. We're gonna be having such a great vibe. And the best thing about it is you get to come and appreciate art and what i mean by that is we have canvas paintings a live spray a spray painter sorry and we have beautiful women beautiful royalty girls that are going to be here working the stage it's going to be such a great vibe i can't wait for you guys to see my artwork We're about to walk in and see it right now true so let's go ahead and go on. favorite pieces right here actually. So what is it about? So this right here is an Arawak woman. She's brown skin um, and I have her gold to represent royalty and she's holding an AR-15. The reason why she's holding an AR-15 is because it represents strength and the fact that women can also do just as great as men can because if you remember Amazonian women they were the ones that were running the game back in the day. They were the ones that were taking control of weaponry and showing men how to use it. And I think we could get back to that one day. Big facts, big facts. Yes. So, this one, I really like this. Yes. Tell me about this, why this? So, this one, people get a lot confused with the um, symbols that I use. I use a lot of satanic symbols and crosses in my artwork um, because people, you know, they kind of get in fear of things. And um, Rockefeller said, when you put people in fear, you put them in control. Now, I want you to get, you know, kind of fascinated, fascinated with my artwork. So when you see that satanic symbol or that cross, it makes you look at it a different way. And I don't know if you're appreciating it, but you're still looking at my artwork. And that's the reason why I paint things like that. And now her, specifically, she's not anybody that I know. She's just a character that I painted, and she represents evil. And when you got the little swirls, you know, kind of making you, you know, hallucinate into it. It's like an illusion, yeah. Yes, and then let me show you guys this last one. This right here is a double painting. It's a dragon. And when you hang it up, you actually hang it up just like this on the wall. And it does a nice little swirl with his tail. That's amazing. I can't believe you did all of this. Like, you're so talented. Absolutely. So, you know, before we wrap up your interview, as far as your artistry and everything, is there anything else you want to let the people know about what you're doing? I would love for you guys to follow me on Instagram. It's Art by Lili, L-E-I, L-E-I. And my website is also artbylili.com. Guys, give me a follow. Just check my artwork out. Let me know if you want some commission artwork. I love to paint you something custom. I do anything. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for doing a little episode for the show. You're super talented. I know you're going to go far. Make sure you guys check her out. And you already know. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.